Okay, good day everyone. Thank you for watching naman sa another topic sa Atomus. Anatomy and Physiology na subtopic sa AS 101 or Introduction to Animal Science. Let's proceed to another system which is called the urinary system. So when we say urinary system, it pertains to, of course, and common at the notion is the urine. But urinary system does not only pertains nga magpagawas lang og ihi, but there are a lot of functions and actually urinary system is one of the broadest topic in terms of physiology. Pero as based sa aton ng objectives dere sa aton ng subject is just to only determine the basic function or structure of the urinary system. But if you want to learn, if you want to have a further knowledge sa urinary system, especially sa ilang details, you can search for other links and references. And also you can read the textbooks that I recommended sa inyo. So, okay. Okay, this is the typical picture of the urinary tract sang isa ka animal actually this picture shows i-highlight na ko ha okay okay there is picture shows the typical sketch of a urinary system and based sa iya nga orientation sort of the ano siya sa human orientation sa urinary system but in the picture on this side you can see amo gini siya ang actual presentation sa urinary system sang isa ka animal So there are three main organs of the urinary system: the kidney, the ureter, and the bladder. So isa isa ho nato ng ilang function later, pero kita niyo mga subparts is, is the dorsal aorta and the vena cava. So take note that the urinary system, especially the main organ, the kidney, is directly attached or main main bridge lang siya between sa mga main blood vessels sang lawas ang animal. So the kidney, pagto dere sa ureter, and then bladder, and the urethra. So kung sa dere nga side, this is the kidney, ureter, bladder, and the urethra. So anong ilang ang mga function? Kita naman natin ilang structure. Okay, importance to the night. Urinary system is responsible for the excretion of many waste products of the body. So it is an important factor in the maintenance of homeostasis or homeostasis, yes, and relatively constant condition of the internal environment of the body and separation of large quantities of plasma and small molecules through the glomerulus. So take note that urinary system kung sa ito pa siya ni ang serve as salaan sa mga toxic waste and any metabolic waste na ara sa atong lawas, especially ang ga travel sa circulation. And then, no na nga salaan siya. And then, may mga specific parts din na siya nga kung di hindi dinasala. That is in the glomerulus. So, amun na siya ang main as... Kung ano, actually, hindi mo siya makita ang kaayo in the gross appearance, but makita mo siya under the microscope, especially on when featuring the histologic appearance of the, ano, of the kidney. Okay? So let's proceed sa organs of urination. Number one is the kidney located in the dorsal wall of the abdomen. So as you can see, yes, if this is the abdomen, so di ba sa babaw? Dorsal. So ari man siya sa dorsal wall. Look, and then they secrete urine and, urine and other metabolic waste products. So hindi lang siya silinga ang ihi lang mismo, but also ang ibang yung mga toxic waste products or another mga metabolic waste products, dara po gina sala. And then the functional unit of the kidney is the nephron. Next, kung masala na dira sa kidney ang mga toxic waste products and then na-filter na ang mga metabolic water and then um, metabolic plasma, so makad to na siya sa ureter. Kung ibalik natin dira, halin sa kidney, makad to sa ureter. And then, After sa ureter, it will proceed sa urinary bladder. And take note, it is absent in avian species or in birds, and then located in the pelvic floor, and it will serve as the reservoir of urine. So, there is a deposit ang ihi. So, if in case mapuno na ning bladder, that will send a signal to the brain nga mahambal na siya, uy, damo na, puno na, so pwede na niya iihi. So, dara na iihi sa urethra. And then, Take note, urethra is also the common passage of urine and semen. Okay. So this is the pickle structure of the kidney. Just like I said in the concept of comparative anatomy, 
different animals or different farm animals has different structures depending na sa, sa species. So this one, letter A, it is refers to the right kidney of horse. Take note, specify nila nga right kidney of horse. It is because it is the only side of the kidney that is heart-shaped. So kita nyo, heart-shaped, I mean Saturn date, it's Valentine's. So heart-shaped kidney is located in the right side of the horse. And then sa ox, you can observe the kidney is lobulated. Okay? And then sa sheep, also sa dogs, sa cats, ang ila kidney is ano, bean shape. Also in goats, bean shape na siya. Amo ni siya ang gross appearance sa kidney sa different farm animals. So take note of it, ang tatlo ni ang gina-highlight. And then once you will slice it, okay. So amo ni siya ang makita na turn sa kidney. It is divided into renal cortex and then renal medulla. So sa dire, sa letter A, so it refers to the equine, ovine, and caprine kidney. Take notes kung sa equine, it represents the left part. Or, pwede po sa right part, kaya yes. Oh, so, equine, ovine, and caprine kidney lacks visible divisions into individual lobes. Compare din sa cattle, nga may mga lobulation. So, amula ni siya, may renal crest, dari, renal pelvis, ureter, this is the medulla, at the deep portion, and the superficial, superficial portion is the or text. So, one lobe lang din siya. Whereas, kung compare mo sa cattle, many lobes. And then, one lobe, may cortex, medulla, and then, the renal papilla, ang daring apart. And, ang mga sub-passages is what we call the calyces or calyx. So, take note, renal calyx is present in cattle. Compare din mo sa dere, walay renal calyx, but renal pelvis lang. And then sa porcine kidney, bean shape, almost bean shape ang shapes ng kidney sa pig, pero may lobulations. So, amun sa ang kinalain pagid sa kidney sa baboy. So, amun siya ang i-take note natin, even though nga almost bean shape siya, may lobulations siya. So, if in case may lobulation, may calyx. If wala calyx, ano man, of course, ang ma-highlight is ang renal pelvis. So, um, siya. But it doesn't mean na kung kung wala renal calyx, renal pelvis lang. Take note, may ara man nga times, uh, may ara gid na sa structure sa isa ka animal kidney nga present both si calyx and si pelvis. So, um, siya. Okay. Principal nitrogenous component of the urine. So, for mammals, it is urea. Birds, uric acid, and for the fish, it is ammonia. So, ano na siyang ginamindira? Arang main nitrogenous component kung anong ginapagwa na chemical or main chemical na ginapagwa sa ihi sa animal. So, ano sa sa tao? Urea, uric acid, sa fish is ammonia. And then, kabantay mo nga ang kabag mo, ngihi bang birds? Actually, yes. Pero hindi lang kayo halata kay ang, ang color sa or ang makita mo sa poops or sa iti sang sang birds ang gaputi na that represents actually the urine. So uric acid ban siya. So sort of solid siya and then puti. Amo yung typical nga appearance ng uric acid. That is why kung makita kag nagibang ang manok, yan na puti nga portion that is actually ang iyang ihi. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully nga may na-learn mo. If you have questions, you can PM me and then that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.